welcome back to another episode of Juju Behind the Magic. I'm your host, Nova Sparks, and I am here with the beautiful and talented Sydney Jenkins. How are you? I'm great. How are you? And next to her is Moon Ferguson, the creator, writer, and director <laughs> of Juju okay. Web Series. How are you? Good, good. Okay, so I have a first question for you because this episode, Ooh. okay, yeah. let's get into it. Girl, what's wrong with you? Uh, girl! <laughs> you know, honestly, oh my God, we know it's Allie, but this episode follows you. Um, this is the second episode yes. of the series, and it's all about you this episode. We get to, a little glimpse into your life, yeah. we follow you to work, and we find out that there's an opening at your job, and you are you believe you're qualified for it, and why aren't you fighting for this position? Allie has, like, a hard time, like, she is a hard worker. Mm-hmm. And I guess she has a hard time, like, really speaking up and standing up for herself to her boss. Um, so she's not very outspoken, I guess, in terms of um, work-related things. Mm-hmm. And so when she has this possible opportunity, and clearly she's, like, next up in line, and the boss kind of just gives it off to somebody else, she's kind of, like, heartbroken kind of yes. right then. And, and and frustrated, yes. more frustrated than heartbroken Obviously. because she's been working at this for so long. She's such a workaholic, you know, so um, it was very hard for Allie to take on that. So, yeah. Yes. So, you guys filmed this episode and how long? Of course, so how long? That one, um, that episode one, two days. was about two days. Two days. days, yeah. Yeah. Two days filming, okay. Yeah. Three, okay. Three days. Yeah, like two point five. Yeah, two and a half two, days. Yeah. So you guys yeah. move pretty quickly. Oh yeah, <laughs> you gotta get yeah. done. So if you can walk us through the process of bringing this to screen for us. Who Chile? Um, <laughs> it's a lot of prep. I think that's what it is. It's more production. The phase of production is probably the shortest phase of filmmaking, and it's like it goes by quick. But the prep was like we've been prepping since last year because we thought we were going to shoot last year, but like it was just a whole bunch of roadblocks. So all I can say is just prep, prep, research, plan, 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 organize, use a, uh, what we use is like a little work program, mm-hmm. just to-do list, like you have to prep, make dot your cute, dot your cues, cross your <laughs> teeth, <laughs> dot your eyes, dot your eyes. <laughs> um, and then everything can just flow, and you have to be... Th- with, you have to be stern with your cast and crew and like look if we all want to do this this is what we want to do we need to stick to these dates if we don't stick to these dates it's the only time we can seriously you have yeah. to you have to stick to moon this has no problem saying <laughs> if you cannot make this date you can be recasted because be like, i mean that's the reality of it it's because true though. one person can't stop the show yes for you sure know, you know she said that to the she said that to the leads like let's say you know, all yeah, right because everyone else this, that. i was yeah Supporting, I was like, yes, they're important, but I'm like, you know what, whatever. is the leads, they have the most days of filming. They mm-hmm. carry the story. So I'm like, look, mm-hmm. we got this funding. Yeah. What y'all trying to do? Right. <laughs> so we're going on board. So they were on point, and, I'm, and everyone's stuff, you have to have, people have to stick to it. It can't be like, oh, I, last minute, I can't make it. We, yeah. we didn't have none of that. Thank no God. No room for that at yeah. all. Yeah, so plan prep yep. that's that's the process of bringing it from script sure. to screen just plan prep plan prep plan prep plan prep plan prep plan prep six months later plan prep plan prep plan prep and like that's the boring part of it mm-hmm. all and a lot of people just rush through it yeah but you can't rush through that that's such an important part so it's the process, guys. Do the boring work, the tedious work. Yes. <laughs> and speaking of congratulations on your Kickstarter campaign, Thank you. you made more than the money that you wanted. How? What was the original goal? <laughs> oh, like what I really oh, wanted to yeah. raise. Yeah. Comfortably, I wanted to raise fifty thousand. Okay. Seriously. Because I wanted to pay, mm-hmm. and I wanted to shoot. In my head, I'm like, okay, I can get fifty thousand, and I can do consecutive days Mm -hmm. like i was Mm -hmm. gonna do like two weeks consecutive days and like you know whoever pto whatever call it work i can reimburse them on top of you know what wages lost but i we we didn't it didn't you know we didn't really have that have that you guys made it work for what you did right and it was i felt the thing is with raising money it feels for depending on who you are and where you come from it feels Mm -hmm. icky yeah. In Caribbean culture, like that pride, 
would have asked for a handout. And asking for a handout yeah. and money at that. Mm-hmm. So it was like, it felt yeah. icky. So I'm like, okay, let me be modest and anything else. I will just put it into equipment, make sure the cast look good, um, food, set design, um, wardrobe. If someone needed a specific wardrobe they didn't have, Uber, you know, to make them more comfortable. So I put it into words, their like well being and stuff like that. Stipends, and, yeah, in a sense. and yeah. work around their like work schedule so they really didn't, and give them enough time to call mm-hmm. out and make mm-hmm. those arrangements or yeah. whatever. Okay, so, cool. yeah. So, original was six thousand. <laughs> so, next season. Yep. Y'all hear that? <laughs> next season. <laughs> you know, like, you like what you see, what you will. I'm like just saying. See, hook up. Okay, let's go to you, Sydney. Yes. Because I'm like, this episode, you got me mad. You really did. <laughs> Girl, Allie is the first witch that we see that we follow. We get to explore her learning that she does yeah. have powers and magic mm-hmm. and you do have a scene where you kind of toy around with it and kind of practice and yes. shop do you believe in magic <laughs> as in sydney not ali i am you. a god fair no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um like i wouldn't list it as magic but mm-hmm. i just believe in like energies mm-hmm. definitely like so when it comes to that realm I do believe in that, like, the energy you exude, like, that's real, you know what I mean? Um, In terms of, like, you know, body manipulation and things <laughs> yeah. like that, with working with this, it's a possibility, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, no, for real, for real, like, with working with this, I was just like, yeah, yeah. I think it could possibly be, but, like, all in all, you I'm know, scared. I'm a god <laughs> yeah. <for> there, but <laughs> <laughs> I know I wrote it, but if I saw that, I wrote it, like, 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 okay. I don't, like, seriously, <laughs> but, yeah, just poquito. But you guys, okay, look, the alley jumped out. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> but you guys had a glimpse of having powers at the end of the first episode, the pilot episode, mm-hmm. and then you walk into the second episode and you're still so um, apprehensive and you don't want to believe that magic is real, even though you saw some proof. What is that about Allie that is fighting her destiny and fighting who she is? <laughs> Since you gotta keep watching, <laughs> you gotta keep watching. I try to sneak a spoiler out. Okay. Hey, I'm about to say I can't spill it out too much, <laughs> but um. <laughs> Let's just say that Allie has a slight history okay. in innocence. You know, not to spill too much, but you got to keep well, watching. We get a little um, taste of the history. Gigi, one of the characters in the mm-hmm. show, mentioned that your grandmother is a witch. Yes. And yes. you kind of made a little joke, like, no, not really. What's that about? So you do have some type of history with yes. witchcraft. Yes. And they have mentioned that in the show, and yet you're still apprehensive about it. Yes. So can you give us a little, I don't know if you want to say a sneak peek, or are we going to... Find Allie looking into her roots to try to reach back into mm. her family history. I gotta check with Boss Lady. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you gotta keep watching because we only have episodes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but they can keep watching. You guys gotta keep watching and tune in. Okay, I understand. You that. gotta tune in. But yes. On a lighter note, not really light, but Mr. F, your boss, Mr. Fairbanks in the show, he doesn't seem to see you as someone who is a candidate for this new position mm-hmm. at the job. And when he mentions you helping him find somebody else for the job, you make a motion behind him, the choking motion, and something happens to him. He chokes on his, his um, mm-hmm. coffee. And um, that's another um, way for you to know that you do have magic in the show. And then you go to the coffee shop and you play around with magic. And Ada mm-hmm. tells you that you don't even know the full extent of your mm-hmm. powers. Tell me a little bit more about that. Well, this is the day after mm-hmm. that, um, you know, all this witchcraft thing is happening. And mm-hmm. so she's just... When it happened to the boss, she didn't really know. She was just being like, mm-hmm. you know, like your average person, like with your boss, and just be like, yo, oh my god, just choke. Mm-hmm. And then when it started happening, then it hit her. So then she yeah. went to the coffee shop and was curious about it and started playing around with it a little more. Mm-hmm. And once she noticed, she was like, and I <laughs> like, <laughs> wait a minute, she was like, whoa. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she's just playing around with it, mm-hmm. um, and just figuring out because, as we will see, it isn't the that's just like in the surface of her mm-hmm. powers yeah. or whatever and she's just as shocked as the audience of what she can do yes. so yeah she's just pretty much just testing the water seeing like is this real I don't know whatever you know what I mean so she's just playing it out for now and we do get a little glimpse of it when you blow up your computer right yes because you know mm-hmm. um, I believe that her magic and her emotions yes. kind of tie together mm-hmm. and she she's not at a point where she has control over it she doesn't so, um, it's still, like, very, yeah, coincidental to her, to her yeah. it's still, Ellie's very, like, 
oh, you know, that just happened because it just so happened. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's not even thinking, like, in the um, context that she's talking about, she's not even realizing that that happened because of that. Yeah. She thinks that it happened because of just a malfunction at work. You understand? So, yeah. Um, yeah, she's not even fully aware of it. Okay, so before we wrap up, I would like to play a game with you guys. I love games. So do I. <laughs> okay, with this down. Okay, so if you look down on the table in front of you, behind you, good drinks, you have four <laughs> cards on the table. So each card has the title of one game. We have one card, maybe true confessions, where you guys look at each other and you reveal some information about each other, confess mm -hmm. information about one or, one or the other. We have one called Spill the Tea. I ask you a, um, a series of questions and you guys will let us know what's the tea behind the scenes Ooh, of the show. Ooh, Chile, I'm messy. Yes, we do. <laughs> And we have another game called Never Have I Ever. We all know how that's played. Yes. We won't be playing that with drinks today, but we will be asking Never Have I Ever. And those will be some juicy questions if you guys choose to pick that card. And then we'll have uh, another game called, let's see, But I'm an Actor. And that's a game, <laughs> where, you, that's and that's a game where you read um, funny reviews of um, movies or TV shows and try your best not to laugh. Okay, oh. so you guys can pick one of the cards, one through four. Either one of you, go ahead. I'll make this. Okay, so oh, she cool. chose spill the tea. You bring. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First question. Since you picked it up, I'm asking you. Spill the tea. Who on the set constantly forgot their lines? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I have to get rid of Phil? Because I felt like it was me. <laughs> Wait, let me really show you know, dead serious. <laughs> I want to just say it was probably me. <laughs> yeah, because um, what happened was, I, yeah, I'm just going to bite that and say it was probably me. Um, yeah, but, but, but it will be like. It wouldn't be necessarily when we roll it. It'll be like the first time we all get together and be like, all right. So, and then we start lines and I'll be like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And then like the day, because the Airbnb, we shot a big bulk of it. So you got to imagine we had like seven scenes to remember. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they were, we was doing rehearsing for me that day. I was like, <laughs> what's my line? So yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'll say it's me. Who would you say? She agreed with you. She agreed with you. I, I felt like she was like, I, yeah, what do we want to say? Because she's like, if you throw anybody under the bus other than yourself, I yeah. Was it film, me. girl? <laughs> that was me. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So, another question. Spill the tea. Who on the set took the longest to get ready? Oh. Who, 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 can we say it? Okay. Next time? One, two, three. Nedge. Oh. Oh. Just like um, and we we love it. It's like one of those like you love to. You just be yeah. like, Kevin, come sit down. All right, sit down. <laughs> um, one last question. Spill the tea. Which one of you guys? Well, not even just you guys. Who on the set will you take to war with you night or day, twenty four seven? Take to war. Mm -hmm. It has to be one person. It could be more than one. I'm about to say gang, one. gang. <laughs> you do gang all day. Yes. The, whole, the whole, the whole. You crew? gotta take all of us. I'm serious. Right, okay. We really are family. This is one of like the best crews and cast I've ever been on. And like seriously, we really be ready to square up. Like, like we really there in group chat. Like what's up? Like, like even on set. Like that moment for the top of your episode when you guys were walking. Um, oh yes, and that guy, and that guy with the bike, and I thought he was about to hit you. <laughs> I yelled "cut" real quick, and me and Bacon was like, oh, "Yeah, like what's up?" This is like, New York City. People ruled here. No, Very rude. we can oh, rule back. But listen, I'm from mm -hmm. Miami, so we can be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm from the Bronx. Hello, me too. High five, Bronx. 
So okay. we can scrap real quick mm-hmm. and I can just Listen. roll back to set. <laughs> yep. See, but yeah, really the footage, no, no evidence. He, I thought he was going to clip because he was really close like, to yeah, Sydney he... in the gate. And I was like, I know he was not about to run my dog. Oh, he was riding yeah. on the sidewalk? He really tried to... He would be yeah. trying to sabotage. Oh, yeah. Instead of yeah. going yeah. on the street, he was he like him, okay. between the sidewalk and the fence for, mm-hmm. the, for the house. You sure don't know him? No. You should just kick the holes in the DM hand slide. No. Okay, no. okay, so you guys are a family. That's good. That's yeah. like a perfect Seriously. way for us to wrap this up. <laughs> guys, this is a great show. Episode 2, Controller, starring Ali, played by the beautiful Cindy Jenkins, and we have the creator, director, and writer, Moon Ferguson. Thank guys, you. come back in two weeks for episode number three. Bye, guys.